What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are looking at the rarest back blings in Fortnite. Now these back blings, I would be surprised if any of you guys have all of these back blings or even just one of these back blings in your locker. And if you do have one of these rare back blings in your locker, make sure to tell me in the comment section below what is your rarest back bling in Fortnite in your locker. But anyway, we're not going to mess around any longer. Let's go ahead and start looking at these rare back blings. Our first back bling on the list, guys, is the Rust Bucket back bling. Now, if you guys have this, you have a pretty rare back bling on your hands. So the last time we saw this back bling was back in 2018. It was only available in the item shop between April 12th and April 19th. But the thing about it, it was a free back bling, so anyone could get it for free. However, because it was available for such a short time period, you know, maybe you're on vacation for that week between April 12th and April 19th, because this back bling has only ever released for a week. That's it. We haven't seen it since then. If you're on vacation, you missed it. And, you know, back in 2018, the player base in Fortnite is nowhere near as large as it is now, which is what I think makes this one of the rarest back blings in the game. So if you guys have the Rust Bucket, you have one of the rarest back blings in the game in your locker. And although it doesn't really combo with too many different skins, it's still a really cool back bling to have. And it is our first back bling on this list. The next back bling on the list, guys, is the backup plan. Now, the backup plan is, first of all, a really cool back bling that combos well with a bunch of skins. However, it is also super, super rare. Now, this released back in Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 3 alongside the Havoc skin and the Sub Commander skin. Now, this, the, all these skins and this back bling were a part of a Twitch Prime promotion. I, I believe it was the first Twitch Prime promotion, but... What I think makes it rare is, first of all, the player base back in Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 3 is nowhere as big as it is now. There wasn't as many people playing the game. But also, you know, everyone didn't have access to Twitch Prime. Maybe you didn't know how to get on Twitch Prime. It was a bit too complicated. You have to link cards, link credit cards and stuff. Or maybe you just didn't realize the promotion was a thing altogether. So overall, not many people had this back bling because it is so old and it has not released for a very, very long time. And even the time it was active, you know, not everyone had access to it, which makes it a really rare back bling. And it is our second back bling on the list. Now, next up, I have a set of back blings and all these back blings here are, are you know, about the same rarity. Now, we're going all the way back to Season 2, Chapter 1. You guys will know these back blings. This is the Squire Shield, the Royale Shield, and also the Black Shield. Now, all three of these shields are extremely rare, as you had to buy the Season 2 Battle Pass in Chapter 1. And then, I believe for the Black Shield, you had to get the Black Knight, which was the Tier 100 skin. And these other two shields were lower tiers. However, of course, because of Season 2 and the small amount of players playing back then, you know, not many people have access to these back blings. They're all such cool back blings. And really, you know, the Black Shield is so, so popular and it matches so well with so many skins. I'm so lucky to actually own this skin myself. But yeah, it is definitely one of the rarest back blings in the game that not many people have at all. Next up, guys, we have the Wolf Pack. Now, hear me out on this. I don't think the Wolf Pack is definitely nowhere near the rarest skin on this list. However, I think it's still pretty rare and it's only becoming more rare and more rare. Now, we're never going to see this released again. So if you guys don't have the Wolf Pack back bling, you're never going to be able to get it. But at first was available during the Season 6 Battle Pass. And what how you had to get this is you had to unlock the Tier 100 skin, and then you had to complete 5 out of the 8 Dire Challenges. So the Dire skin was the Tier 100 skin during that season. Then you had to complete 5 of the 8 Challenges. And if in Season 6, you know, you weren't playing or you didn't play that much, you might not have grinded the game out enough to get Tier 100 and then go ahead and you know, do all the challenges as well. So I don't think there's, you know, as many people as you think that have this back bling. And, you know, we're in chapter three now, and there's been a lot of new players that have come after or even halfway through season six of Fortnite chapter one and that won't have access to this back bling. So I think it's a pretty rare back bling and, you know, it is coming on this list. I think it deserves a bit of a mention. Next up, guys, we've got the Widow's Pack back bling, which came alongside the Black Widow skin. Now, we haven't seen the Black Widow skin in the item shop for a pretty long time. That was last seen the 6th of May 2019, and they have not re-released this skin since. 
Now, this skin, I can see it coming back sometime in the future. I'm not sure when, but if it does, this back bling will likely return. But as it is now, this is still one of the rarest back blings in the game. Because it just hasn't been out in such a long time, I'm sure there's probably a fair few guys out there that do own this. But, you know, because it was only in the item shop a couple times, I think it's had about six appearances in the item shop, which isn't that much compared to a bunch of other skins. So, you know, if you weren't on Fortnite for those couple of times that it was in the item shop, you wouldn't have access to this skin um, and back bling. But I reckon this is a pretty rare back bling in Fortnite. Now, we also have the Cactus Jack and the Astro World back bling, which were part of the Travis Scott set. Now, these are pretty rare because the Travis Scott skins are actually starting to become a rare skin. Um, it had six occurrences in the item shop, and the last time we saw it was April 27, 2020. So I think this back, these back blings, are, you know, starting to become pretty rare. I really like the Cactus Jack back bling. I'm gutted that I wasn't able to actually buy this myself. Um, but, you know, I think it's a really, really cool back bling. And, you know, I'm sure, there's, uh, once again, there's a fair few of you guys that probably bought this. However, I think, you know, over time, this back bling is just going to get more rare and more rare. And it's still one of the rarest back blings in the game because there's not a lot of back blings that are that rare. So, you know, this is definitely up there as one of the rarest ones. Let's move on to the next one. If you guys have this next back bling, you have an extremely rare back bling. I don't think I know anyone that's got this at all. I don't think I've ever seen it in game either. This is the telemetry back bling. I think that's what it's pronounced. But anyway, this was alongside the Nintendo Switch Double Helix Bundle. So you had to own a Nintendo Switch and play Fortnite on that Nintendo Switch, I believe, to unlock this back bling because you could not get it unless you had a Nintendo Switch. And I think there is only a small, small minority of players that play Fortnite on the Switch. If you guys do play Fortnite on the Switch, tell me in the comments section because that would be very, very interesting. I'll be, I'll be surprised if, if many people do actually play it on the Switch. But yeah, if you had on the Switch, I believe you were able to unlock this back bling there but because of the small minority of people that play in the you know nintendo switch this has become one of the rarest back blings in the game now it first released back in 2018 and i'm actually not too sure myself if this promo is still running i don't think it is but, you know, even when, it, even if it was, it would still be one of the rarest back blings in the game just because of the little amount of people that could actually unlock it. Now, these next two back blings are insanely rare, and I'm sure that no one watching this video has these back blings. And if you do, oh my god, I don't know how you managed to get them. But anyway, these are the Insignia and the Penguin back blings. Now, you guys might have seen these. You might not be 100% sure what they are, how to get them, whether they're in the item shop or whether they're just leaked unreleased skins. But, you know, they are not at all any of those. These two back blings are both Fortnite China exclusives. Now, you could only get these if you played for... I, I believe you have to be in China playing the Fortnite version, um, the Chinese Fortnite version to unlock these back blings. So these two back blings, I believe Fortnite China partnered with Epic Games and uh, a couple other Chinese companies. And, you know, they released these two back blings. And no one really has these anywhere else in America, the UK, Australia. It's such a rare back bling. Probably the rarest back blings in the game, to be honest. Because, you know, no one has these. But, of course, China has an absolutely massive population. So, in China, a lot of people have them. But, you know, the Fortnite that we play, I'm sure, you know, on our servers, no one has these back blings at all. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys were waiting for this back bling. This is the Ghost Portal, specifically the Purple style now the purple style of the ghost portal is of course only available to people that own the original skull trooper so be people that bought skull trooper when it first released in the item shop back in you know the first halloween that fortnite released i think it was back in you know 2017 that this um skin first release so if you bought the skin back then you will have the purple color which you know if anyone sees a purple skull trooper and a purple um, ghost portal, you know, it's a scary thing to see in game. It's almost as scary as seeing like a renegade raider It is, you know, it's not what you want to be coming up against It is such a cool style for this back bling and in my opinion It's got to be up there as probably the rarest back bling if not one of the rarest back blings that were actually available in the item shop and Yeah Insanely rare and you know, I'm sure you guys all expected this to be on the list or if you maybe you forgot about it And now you're reminded that this back bling exists and it is insanely 
insanely rare. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far through the video, you guys are so, so awesome. I really do appreciate you watching through the whole video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, I'd appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does mean a lot. I enjoyed making this video for you guys. And all I can hope is that you enjoyed watching it as well. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.